This one is going to be on bookmarklets and what is a bookmarklet? A bookmarklet is basically a JavaScript and bookmark. That's it. Okay. So it's virtually nothing. Uh, why would you want to use it? Uh, there's a lot of people that use Firefox and they install a lot of add-ons and they don't realize is that uh, it slows down your shit. Okay. Especially in Firefox, it does slow down your shit. So I would suggest uh, using some of the bookmarklets uh, to replace your add-ons. Uh, because it's, uh, it's lighter, it's like virtually nothing, okay? So, um, let me give you some examples here. Uh, the first one is probably um, auto pager because I talked about that last time. So, let's say you know you uh, you have um, you do a search, and with auto pager, uh, you can replace it with this one, it's called um, page zipper, and that's all it does. You see, it has a little thing over here. And what that means is, when you scroll down, you don't have to click the next button. It just keep going the next result. So it's the same thing as uh, auto pager, right? So that's one. Uh, another one is uh, okay, YouTube. You know how you want to uh, download a, a video, or you want to uh, extract a song or something. Well, you don't really need an add-on for that. You just use a bookmarklet, and it'll do, it'll do the same thing. So for this one, I use um, Drippy, which is probably the best bookmark for for this thing here so drippy here and what this will allow you to do is download the videos if you want right here they have different qualities okay so that's not a problem but this thing also lets you extract uh, songs okay or like just the audio from the video if you if you want to and they do have some other options but uh, it goes to mp3 and you can tell it to um, you know, you use um, the starting time, the end time, and also uh, the quality. You see how they have that there? Well, it depends on the source video, but you see how they have that. So that's good. So I like this one a lot when I'm, you know, trying to download something uh, from YouTube. I can use this. Uh, so that's another one. Uh, let me see another one. Okay. Um, Linkify linkification. That was another add on for Firefox. Uh, basically what that does is uh, turn a link like this you know it's not clickable you can turn it to a clickable link uh, with um, this bookmark link here what is it called linkify there you go and then you see you can click on it now so that's what that does uh, another one is um, let me see here um, let's say you have this and uh, you want to uh, translate this page you see how this is in check right here well you don't need no add-on you just use the translator um, bookmarklet and it translates it look at this and now it's in English or whatever language uh, you know that you wanted to um, there you go you can do that so that's another one uh, let, let's go back to um, this what was it okay let's say uh, you know the page is down and um, or the server is down or something you can actually view the cache of it like an old uh, snapshot of it with a uh, Google cache here so let me see here uh, what the hell is that there you go Google cache and you see um, today is uh, the 21 but it took a picture of it uh, the 16th so even if the server is down or something you can actually view the old uh, page of it Usually it doesn't change much, but um, you know you have some results better than nothing. So that's another one. Let me see what else is there. Th there's a few. There's a lot more than this, but I'm just gonna go over a few. Um, I think that's about it. That's all I want to talk about. And uh, to add a uh, bookmarklet, it's basically drag and drop. Uh, let let's say here. You see how these are um, uh, here. It's just JavaScript. You can see it down here and you just drag that thing up here and there you go you have that and what's inside of it like I tell you it's just a JavaScript you see JavaScript and then some random code here uh, that's another one to do it or sometimes they give you um, this thing here where you just copy and paste it in see they give you a copy and paste it make your own bookmark so that's that's just the way to add that in and the good thing about bookmarklets is it works um, uh, cross-platform so uh, Mac Windows whatever 
because they only use JavaScript and JavaScript just works on just about everything okay and uh, another thing is it works on cross platform uh, cross browser I mean okay so that's another good thing now it doesn't work on all the browsers I will say 90% of it uh, it will work on um, all the browsers but some sometimes some JavaScript it only works on certain browsers so you gotta be aware of that too so not all of these will work but 90% of the time it will work so that's it and I'll say I'll recommend um, you know getting rid of some of the add-ons because you don't really uh, need that especially if you're using Firefox for Chromium um, it's working perfect for me add-ons or not it's still fast so that's it